My horse is pulling back, John. I'm, I don't know what he's not responding to. Well, the cue that he's not responding to is exactly the same cue that's dragging the person off at the end of a lead rope. The horse takes off, gets going, and, and then what happens is the person puts pressure on the lead rope, but the horse doesn't do this. The horse just keeps on going. Well, the problem is that we put pressure on the lead rope. The lead rope puts pressure on the halter. The halter puts pressure on the, on the pole right here. And the horse doesn't give to it. He just keeps on going, you know, and he just keeps on going and drags us off. And so what I want to do is I want to teach him that when I put pressure on that lead rope, that he gives to that pressure. What he's not doing is, as we put pressure on this lead rope, you know, what he's not doing is he's not giving to that pressure. So that's the cue that I need to, to set up and to reteach him. Now... This exercise, this lesson is going to take some physical work on your part, but your horse can learn this, and he can learn to stand tied safely without you getting hurt and without your horse getting hurt. There are some easy ways to do it, easier ways to do it, I should say, than using a lead rope. What we need to do, it would be easier to get the horse to give to the side, you know, than it would to be give forward. The horse right now is tied to a post. You know, I'm the post, but I'm a, a movable post. I'm a post with forgiveness. So and with forgiveness means that if he pulls on me, that I can actually move with him a little bit around the pin. So I could actually move. You know, one of these steel posts, they don't move. There's no forgiveness in them. And so here, what I'm trying to teach my horse is that when he feels that pressure on that lead rope, that he gives with his head, bends his neck, and responds to that. Well, this lead rope, I've only got six feet or eight feet with this lead rope to react and get my horse to stop. And with the halter, he can pull a lot harder on that halter than he could on a bridle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a lariat rope, or you can use a lunge line, something that gives us a longer time to respond to him than just a lead rope. Secondly, I'm going to use a bridle because he can pull so much harder. With the halter, he can jerk this, this lead rope out of my hand, but with the bridle, I've got just a little more leverage, and it's actually easier on the horse. And the reason it's easier on the horse is because he doesn't have to work so long and so hard at it. The lesson's hard enough on his legs. So if we could teach it to him and get him through the lesson quicker and make it easier on both of us, that would be better.